Are you someone who is always overthinking? Like you wake up overthinking. During the day you're overthinking. At night you're overthinking. You go to bed overthinking. Are you always ruminating deep divers? And does this give you a lot of anxiety? You're looking a little bit shaky, baby. Like you're uncertain about what the future holds. Well, you've come to the right place because you see, that was me a long, long time ago. But I found a way to stop overthinking about my worries and start doing this instead. And worries, where did you go? They just disappeared, right? And I was able to calm my mind. I'm about to share with you a very powerful technique to stop overthinking about your worries. This information is going to blow your mind. You're going to raise your eyebrows like the rock. We got a whole lot to talk about because we've got to remind ourselves the average person has between 12,000 and 60,000 thoughts per day. And this is the reason why so many people are caught up in overthinking. Well, listen to this deep divers, but first let's breathe. That was beautiful. Let's go. Woo! Breathing in that grass. Prana, baby. Raising the frequency. Raising the vibration. I woke up like this, deep divers. In yellow, all magical and fly. Take that. Take that. Take that. Good ass energy. I'm sending you peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are here. And I really do hope you're taking care of yourself, deep divers. I know you've got a lot on your mind, right? A lot of people do right now, especially in these days and times. FaceTiming you right now, deep divers, if you're watching this video, here to remind you that whatever you're worrying about is going to pass. Just know that this too shall pass. It always does and it always will. But in the meantime, trust that everything will work out eventually. Are you ready to do that, deep divers? Just say, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you overthinking, deep divers? Is it stealing your peace of mind? Do you have anxiety? Are you stressed out? at home, at work, in your relationship. You're worried, caught upstairs, overthinking about what the future holds. Is that you right now where you've come to the right place? Because the information I'm about to share with you, the information I'm about to share with you about the psychology of how to really stop overthinking and calm your mind is gonna blow your mind. I'm a psychologist and I've been doing this for a long time. and. Wait, first of all, I want everybody, because I'm about to go in. I want everybody to hit that like button right now. Hit that like button. Share this video because somebody out there needs to see this. Hit that like button if you support the real. So someone actually sent me a great message. Add me on Instagram, at Ralph Smart, okay? And I'm going to read you the message because it ties into this video, right? That's why I'm doing the video, Deep Divers. Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Is that the real Mark Anthony? Thank you for your amazing videos, Ralph. I watch you daily. Thank you so much. A question, please. I can't stop overthinking about what the future holds, life, stress, etc. Can you enlighten me? on how to stop overthinking so much? That's a great question. Deep divers, we got a lot to talk about and think about. <laughs> and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. So let me tell you this, deep divers, first and foremost, to stop overthinking about your worries and to really calm your mind, you must realize why people overthink in the first place. You see, there are two reasons why many people are caught upstairs always overthinking. And the first reason is because they can't express themselves. When you can't express how you feel, you're gonna be caught upstairs, you're gonna be overthinking. 
because you're holding it inside. Deep divers, you know why I don't overthink? Because I'm always expressing myself. There are people who watch my videos and they're like, gosh, Ralph, I want to say that, but I can't. I'm scared. And I'm like, speak your truth, even if your voice shakes. Don't worry, I've got you. Because a lot of people ruminate and overthink because they are bottling up their emotions, how they feel, being quiet about it. No, you want to open your mouth, start talking, start speaking up. That's it, deep divers. That's a spirit. Get it off your chest, all right? And the second reason why people overthink is because they're not doing what they want to do. So if you wake up one day and you're living the wrong kind of life, you are going to be overthinking. Your brain is going to be like this. Woo! We've got so many thoughts going on, right? So I'm here to turn your whole demeanor into this, deep divers. Okay? That's a Zen state, calm mind. Ooh, look at you go, baby. <laughs> so once I started to live this life and not someone else's, I stopped overthinking. Once I started to create my own reality and stop blaming other people for my problems, I began to stop overthinking. So let me tell you this, deep divers that many people who are overthinking are analyzers. You're analyzing every little detail. You see someone and you're analyzing them. You walk down the road, you're analyzing everything. And this is cool, except it creates a lot of overthinking. <laughs> the reason why People who analyze have a lot of problems with overthinking. This creates anxiety and stress is because analysis is paralysis. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. Analysis is paralysis. And therefore, deep divers, to stop overthinking and bring in a calm mind, you must stop analyzing because anytime you analyze something, you're judging it and you separate everything. We must begin to see everything as whole and we must also begin to become less judgmental. And this is how you can stop overthinking. Focus on yourself. Remind yourself that no amount of overthinking is going to change the past. No amount of overthinking is going to change yesterday. No amount of overthinking is going to change what has already happened. So when you can learn to lose your mind and come to your senses, tune into the present moment and say, hey, it's a new day, it's a new start, it's a new me. This is how you begin to stop overthinking and how you develop a calm mind. Now, I'm about to show you some mind-blowing research that's going to blow your mind away about overthinking, okay? I've got, I've got the receipt, Steve Divers, okay? And this is going to really be fascinating for you. Let me continue because, you see, a lot of people who are overthinking wake up thinking that the more they think about something, the better it's going to be. But what happens? One thought leads to another thought, which leads to another thought, which leads to another thought. And before you know it, you've got so many thoughts that you didn't even have to begin with. <laughs> but what are you thinking about? What do most people overthink about? They overthink about how everything is not going to go their way. They overthink about the worst case scenario. Why or oh, why do we do this? Is paranoia. I have pronoia. I wake up saying the whole universe is working in my favor. Somehow, some way it's going to work out. A miracle is going to happen for me and the cat down the road. You see, energy goes where attention flows. 
And whatever you consume will consume you. And whatever you focus on grows. So when you remind yourself that to stop overthinking and develop a calm mind, you must remind yourself that thinking about something that does not serve you will only lead to more thoughts which do not serve you. <laughs> so we have to let go of what is not serving us mentally and make space for what is inspiring us mentally. If I told you you've just won the lottery, there's not a lot to think about. You're just smiling at, yeah, cool. <laughs> right? Because you are bringing in something inspiring into your mental space. Okay? But if I told you that things aren't going well in your life right now, it's only going to get worse, you're going to think about that and it's going to lead to more thoughts about what is not helping you. So we have to become mindful that what we feed our mind is what we feed our life. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. What we feed our mind is what we feed our life. Say it again, Ralph. What we feed our mind is what we feed our life. Absolutely. Overthinking can steal your inner peace. It can steal your happiness. It can steal the present moment because you're caught up somewhere in the past or in the future, but never really in the here and now. And one of the greatest ways to stop overthinking and to develop a calm mind is to say, is this thought going to matter in the next five years? What I'm thinking about, is it really that serious? Is it really going to have any importance in the next one year, even in the next month? Probably not, because most of the things we think about are never, ever going to happen. Okay? That's the good news. Whew! Whew! Yeah. Bree a sigh of relief, deep divers. <laughs> so, let me show you, okay, some research on overthinking that's really going to blow your mind. Deep divers, check this out. Overthinking case studies, okay? What the research shows, 60,000 thoughts per day. That's a whole lot, okay? In 2005, the National Science Foundation published an article summarizing research on human thoughts per day. It was found that the average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. Of those thousands of thoughts, 80% were negative and 95% were exactly the same repetitive thoughts as the day before. We can see that one of the tendencies of the mind is to focus on the negative and play the same songs over and over again. And that's the reason why to stop overthinking, to develop a calm mind, you must stop playing the same song on repeat. Like, change the tune up, deep divers. Change the tune up. I'm your DJ right now. Let's play a new tune. Let's do that, right? It's not over, deep divers. Check this study out, okay? I bought the receipts, deep divers. Check this out. Overthinking case studies. What the research shows. 97% of your worries are baseless. Let's talk about this, deep divers. There was another interesting study. Lay, 2005, study of Cornell University, in which scientists found that, firstly, 85% of what we worry about never happens. Let me repeat that, deep divers. 85% of what we worry about never happens. Secondly, within the 15% of the worries that did happen, 79% of the subjects discovered that either they could handle the difficulty better than expected or that the difficulty taught them a lesson worth learning. The conclusion is that 97% of our worries are baseless and result from an unfounded pessimistic perception. These baseless worries are a major source of stress tension and cause of exhaustion, not only for the mind, but also for the physical body. 
Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Did you see that research breakdown, deep divers? 97% of your thoughts are baseless, right? And we know this because we think of things which don't have any significance or any importance whatsoever. And we have to lose this worst case scenario mindset. We often think about what could go wrong instead of what could go right. And when you think about what could go right, you lose overthinking because you are stepping into radical action to make it go right. Overthinking can now become a crutch for a lot of people to say, you know what, I'm going to think about it in order to not do something. So when you step into radical action, when you are a woman of action, a man of action, the overthinking subsides. So when we remind ourselves, deep divers, overthinking does not have to ruin our lives. Overthinking does not have to control our lives. Overthinking can stop today and you can sit back, relax and breathe. And that's what we have to do. We have to put things in perspective. We have to have in essence a bird's eye view of what's happening because anything you're thinking about, if it's not serving you, is stealing your energy. That's a slow motion, right? What I've found out deep dives is that breathing helps. Let's go. And I told you the 444 method, right? Alternate nostril breathing. So what I do to stop overthinking, because this breath technique helps, 444, breathe for four, hold for four, release for four. This calms the mind and stops the monkey mind chattering too much, okay? Your mind is remarkable. It can be your greatest weapon your greatest ally if you know how to use it. If you don't, it can turn into your greatest enemy. One of the ways of making your mind an ally to stop overthinking and to bring calm to your mind is to realize that once again, you want to let go of what you cannot control. You want to focus on what you can control, which is always your internal state also you want to, as soon as you wake up, you want to not just go on the computer. You want to go outside, face the sun, breathe in, breathe in deep divers and say, you know what? Today I'm inhaling the good stuff and I'm letting go of the bad stuff. I'm inhaling the good shit and, and I'm exhaling the bad shit, <laughs> right? You want to wake up. As soon as you wake up, you want to inhale. You want to say today I'm letting go of what does not serve me to make space for what really is going to grow me into becoming my greatest version. I am letting go of what does not serve me. Always say that. And remind yourself, deep divers, overthinking, the source of overthinking comes from suppressed feelings, emotions, and thoughts. So you have to learn how to express your thoughts into action, your feelings, into action and your emotions into action. Suppression is depression. Suppression creates energy blockages. Go and watch my video on energy blockages. It's going to blow your mind. So this is how to really stop overthinking. Remind yourself your mind, your brain is powerful. You have millions of neurons doing a phenomenal task every single day. But for your brain to work flawlessly, you must Stop overthinking and allow it to do its thing. Deep divers, hit that like button. Hit that like button right now if you support the real. Hit that like button because somebody out there needs to see this because they're overthinking so much. Well, we've just helped you out. I've just helped you out, deep divers, and that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Yeah. Beautiful deep divers of planet Earth. I'm just breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Go and check out the best-selling book, Deep Divers, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. And at ralphsmart.com slash the book, the Bible of becoming your greatest version. Also, go and get the good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. 
Deep divers. Your brain was a terrible thing to waste. Make sure you're using your brain. Make sure you're letting go of worries. This is how to really calm your mind and bring in a peace to yourself, right? Let go of thoughts which aren't doing anything for you. Let go of worries which aren't helping you out. And if you're overthinking, you can give yourself, you can give yourself five minutes every single day to overthink. Five minutes, that's it. And then after that, you got to start doing something. So give yourself five minutes, five minutes, and then start acting. Deep divers, I love all of you. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You, once again, deep divers, make sure you hit that like button, share this video, leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation and let me know how this video has inspired you to stop overthinking and bring in a calm mind to your reality. I love all of you deep divers, peace.